Hey hello there, so in this video we are going to discuss about the bitwise not operator in much more detail. So this bitwise not operator is actually represented by a tilt symbol. Now this tilt symbol can be found on your keyboard just above the tab tick key. Okay, so in this way or this is how the tilt symbol basically looks. So this symbol is actually used for indicating bitwise not operator in C++. Now let's quickly get started and let's see how this bitwise not operator actually works. Now this bitwise not operator is also called as a negation operator. So this is also called as a negation operator. I'm going to tell you the reason why this is called as a negation operator. And to tell you the reason, let's quickly get started with a simple example. For this example, we will take an operand that is 2. Okay, so 2, this is a simple integer, okay. And right now it is in decimal number system. Now the operator that we are learning right now are bitwise operator. So bitwise operator are compulsory going to work only on the bits. Okay, so any time or every time we have to apply the bitwise operator to any operand, we will have to convert that operand to the binary. Okay, so this is a very important step. Because the bitwise operator work on individual bits and to actually get the individual bit of the data, we will have to convert it to binary, right? So let's quickly convert this to which is our data or which is our operand in this case. This is my operand. So let's quickly convert this operand to the binary. All right. So this two will look something like this in binary. It is going to be zero followed by zero followed by one followed by zero. So if I write this two in four bit binary format, then it will look something like this. It is going to be zero zero one zero. Okay, see uh, actually the integer will take 32 bits, right? Because the integer gets memory that is 4 byte of memory. So 4 byte is basically 32 bits. But right now just for our understanding, just for the simplicity of the uh, example, I am considering 4 bits. So in 4 bit format, 2 is going to look something like this. That is 0, 0, 1, 0. Now what we have to do is we have to apply negation operation or bitwise not operator to this operand. So I want the result for bitwise not of 2. So let's see how this bitwise not operator actually works. So remember the bitwise not operator is very simple. What this operator do or what this operator will do is basically it will convert 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. That's it. So this operator will basically convert 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. So in this case, in case of 2, uh, so when I I will apply bitwise not operator, the result is going to be 1 followed by 1 followed by 0 followed by 1 in binary. See why I am getting 1 1 0 1. See this 0 it is converting to 1. This 0 is getting converted to 1. This 0 uh, sorry this 1 is getting converted to 0. This 0 is getting converted to 1. So basically it will convert every 0 to 1 and every 1 to 0 and we will get the result. So this is the answer or this thing that you are seeing on the screen that is 1101 is the answer for bitwise not of 2. Okay, so it's quite easy. What is bitwise not of 2? It is 1101 in binary. Okay, now let's quickly see what is the value in decimal. So let's convert this thing into decimal. Let's see what is its value in decimal. So we know how we can convert a binary number to the decimal. We all know how we can convert a binary number into decimal. So how we convert any binary to decimal? First, at first, very first, we will check what is the first digit or what is the first bit. So in this case, the first bit is 1. So we use the first bit to calculate the sign or to decide the sign of the number okay so in this case the first bit is one that's why the sign of the decimal number is going to be negative or minus okay always remember how we calculate or how we convert any binary to decimal to convert any binary to decimal first we check the first bit of the number we have already seen this discussion or we have already done this discussion while learning about the data types i'm just kind of revising okay so we first check what is the first bit if it is 0, that means the number is positive. If it is 1, that means the number is negative. Now, if the number is negative, just try to remember how we convert or how we get the value if the number is negative. So the value in this case is going to be decided by these three bits. That is 1, 0, 1. Okay. 
So these three bits that are available at the end, that is 101, are going to decide the value of the decimal number. So let me just write them over here, that is 101. Now, to get the value in decimal, we will have to apply 2's complement on them. So how we apply 2's complement? To apply 2's complement, we first take 1's complement of them. So the 1's complement is going to be 1, not 1, sorry. It is going to be 0, 1, 0. And then we add 1 to it. So if we add 1 to it, the answer is going to be 1, 1, 0. I'm reading it from right to left, okay? So the answer is 0, 1, 1, okay? Now just convert this 0, 1, 1 to decimal, okay? What is the value? The value is 3. So 0, 1, 1 in decimal is going to be 3. And what is the sign? Sign is negative. So the answer of this thing in decimal is or answer of z what was this number it was 1101 so if we represent this 1101 in decimal then it basically becomes minus 3 so what is answer of negation of 2 so the answer of negation of 2 is minus 3 okay so i hope basically you have got the clear idea about how the negation operator is working okay so we have taken a very simple example we have discussed how the negation operator is behaving when the operand was 2 okay let's see one more simple example and let's see how the operand or how the operator is actually behaving if let's say the operand is let's say let's say 5 okay so let's quickly see how this operator is behaving if my operand is 5 okay so now this 5 is in decimal so let's first quickly convert it to binary so if i convert 5 to binary how it will going to look it is going to be 0 followed by 1 followed by 0 followed by 1 so 5 in binary looks something like this 0 1 0 1 okay so this is in binary now i want to apply negation operator to it or bitwise not operator to it so when i apply bitwise not operator what will be the result it will be 1 0 1 0 okay again this 1 0 1 0 is in binary right so we have to convert it to decimal to get the value or if we, if we want to know what is the value in decimal or what is the answer in decimal okay so let's quickly convert this value to decimal how we'll convert it we'll follow the same step what is the first bit first bit is one so the sign is going to be negative we'll use 0 1 0 this value to find the actual value of the answer so we'll apply two's complement to it so first apply one's complement so what will be the answer it is going to be one zero one then add one to it so if we like, i will add one to it then one plus one is going to be zero one is going to go as a carry then zero plus one is going to be one and then one is going to stay as it is okay so the answer that we are getting is one one zero now what is one one zero one one zero is nothing but six okay so answer of this thing is minus 6. So when I will write negation of 5, then the answer is minus 6. When I was writing negation of 2, the answer was minus 3. So if you will observe it very carefully, you will find some pattern out of it. Okay. And from this pattern, we can write or we can write a generic formula for negation of n. Okay. So if you will just observe it very clear, clearly, just give yourself one minute and just try to find the pattern and we will come up with a generalized formula for negation of n. Okay. So whenever you will get any question like what is negation of let's say 10, then you should be able to answer it very quickly. Okay. Without thinking about or without doing all these calculations. All right. So let me just quickly clear the board and let me just tell you the formula, the magic formula for getting negation of any number or any integer all right so let me just quickly clear the board okay so we know bitwise negation or bitwise not of 5 is minus 6 and bitwise not of 2 is minus 3 so we can say bitwise not of n is nothing but minus of n plus 1 and this is the generic formula that i was talking about so if you have any n you will just have to apply this formula to get the answer. 
let's say if the value of n is let's say 10 so what is negation of 10 then by using this formula the negation of 10 is nothing but minus 11 quite easy very easy so negation of 10 is minus 11 what is negation of let's say 200 negation of 200 is nothing but minus 201 so you don't have to do all those calculations so if you are getting such kind of question in your mc dash then the, you can simply write the answer by help of this formula all right